Hello from Pittsburgh. I'm Andy Merritt and I'm the Communications Director for the New England Synod. If you've been following along on our website, Twitter, or Facebook, you know that I'm here with 15 of our voting members from the region at the 2013 ELCA Churchwide Assembly. It's day two here in Pittsburgh and it was a pretty busy day. The 950 voting members in total uh, really got down to business. They voted on some changes to the church constitution as well as hearing from some new ministries and then heading off to some hearings on different aspects of church life and church work. In fact, that's where they are right now. So I figured I would check in with you and show you some highlights from day two. We've got some voting from the bishop's election, which went to a second ballot today and then eventually onto a third ballot. And I also have an interview with Eric Pike, who is our youth voting member. Now, Eric's pretty young, but I think as you'll see, you'll uh, notice that he's full of spirit and full of really great ideas. So he was a great guy to talk to, and hopefully you enjoy that interview as well. So without further ado, let's check out the sights and sounds of day two here at Churchwide. Hey! Hey! I just picked up the ballots. Really? but just kind of an overall theme of, uh, well, I guess they're talking about basically following through with the theme of always being made new. So that's the debate discussion that's going on. And uh, I thought it'd be better if I came over here and kind of let them have that discussion without me. I, I for once, am keeping my mouth shut. So it's day two, and what are your thoughts so far uh, here at Churchwide? Um, it's been spectacular. Um, there's so much going on that you wouldn't normally expect to be going on. Uh, many meetings on budget, many meetings on uh, malaria campaigns and such like that. Um, but it's been a spectacular experience, and I am so glad I was elected to be here. Um, so surprises so far from from the, your first your first whirl at this one? Uh, yeah. Um, so over lunch, the a bunch of the youth uh, and young adults here at the ELCA got together. We had lunch. It was about five of us. Five spread to ten. Ten spread to fifteen. And we ended up with three tables of youth and young adults. Um, and we we're discussing the a plan of budget um, for youth. Uh, youth are so often expected to be today's church and tomorrow's church, but they're never given that opportunity. Um, so we we're demanding that opportunity and asking for 2% of the um, 25th anniversary budget, uh, which will give us $2.8 million. So we're going to go off, off script here. Tell yes. me a little bit more about what that's going to do for you guys. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to allow us, for the young adults, it's going to do scholarships for colleges. Um, for new starting congregations, it's going to allow them to attend uh, the, um, the National Gathering of Youth. And it's going to allow many other things that youth would normally not have because of their such a small budget. Uh, this is going, to, uh, is going to triple it, the budget for the youth. So there are a lot of young people here. There was the talk yesterday of more than 100 people here under the age of 25. What does that mean for this gathering and for this church that there are so many young people who are involved and interested in what's going on? It means that it's catching on. Um, youth are getting a voice. Youth are getting a spot in church. And that youth are getting more interested in church. Um, and that it is just it is amazing to see this many youth. Um, and actively caring about their church because it is their church and it's going to be their church. Oh, sorry. 
I was just admiring the view uh, from my hotel room here. I can actually look right across the Roberto Clemente Bridge and into PNC Park, which is the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So it's a pretty cool vantage point for uh, a baseball fan. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our highlights from day two of Churchwide Assembly. Uh, we'll be updating the website and we'll also be updating Twitter and Facebook throughout Churchwide, so make sure you follow along there. We've got links in the description below, so check that out. And uh, you can also follow uh, myself, as well as Bishop Hazelwood, Eric Pike, and Pastor Jeff Cinebaldo on Twitter. We're all going to be tweeting throughout the days here in Pittsburgh. And we've got links to those Twitter feeds as well down in the description, so check those out. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the highlights. Um, I'm going to go find myself one of those pierogies I keep hearing everyone talk about, and, uh, and I'll get back to you probably tomorrow. So hopefully you can check in with us again. In the meantime, have a great day, and thanks for stopping by.